Hi everyone and welcome to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be showing you how to find a percentage of an amount. In the first part of this video I'm going to show you how to do it with a calculator. Um, my way is the quickest and easiest way to do it. And then later in the video I'm going to be showing you how to find a percentage of an amount without a calculator. After watching this video, you may wish to check out the video that I did on finding the fraction of an amount. I will put the link to that video in the description. Um, and as always, if you like this video and it does help you learn something, then please hit that like button down below because it really does help out the channel. So when you want to work out the percentage of an amount, if you read it from a textbook, they might get you to do a two step process. So they will get you to take 25, they will get you to divide it by 100, that's one step, and then they would get you to multiply it by 24, and that would give 6. But with my step, it's much easier, and there's only one step to do with my trick. So I'm going to take 25, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.24. So that is 24% as a fraction, and it still gives us the answer of six. So using my technique, I'm gonna take 180, the number that I want to find the percentage of, then I'm gonna multiply it by 0 0.65, because that is 65% as a decimal. And the answer is 117. And then finally, 17% uh, of 40, so I'm going to take 40, and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.17, 6.8. And this also works if you have, uh, if you're trying to find like 153% um, of a number. So let's say 153% of 62. So this time what I'd do is I'd take 62, and I'd multiply it by 1. 0.53 and that would give me the same as 153% so 94.86 so now we're going to get rid of the calculator and we're going to look at how to work out the percentages of an amount um, without a calculator so before I get into the questions we need to know some facts for percentages so 50% is the same as half, and a half is the same as dividing by two. So if I quickly want to work out 50% of a number, all I have to do is half it. Now, if I want to work out 10% of a number, then I must divide it by 10. And if I want to work out 1% of a number, then I must divide it by 100. Now, with 5%, we divide it by 20, which isn't so easy to do mentally, but I'll show you how we can do that. So 22% of 120, let's just think about what 22% is. 22% is the same as 10% um, and 10% and also 1% and 1%. So if I had 10%, 10%, 1%, 1%, it will make 22%. And that's exactly how I'm gonna work this out. So I'm gonna work out 10% of 120. So 120 divided by 10 gives me 12. So 12 is the same as 10% right now. So I'm going to work out another 10%. So that must be another 12. So at the minute I've worked out 20%. Now I'm going to calculate 1% of 120. So I'm going to divide 120, divided by 100. That gives me an answer of 1.2. And 1.2 must be 1%. But I've got 22%, so I need another 1%. And that would be another 1.2. And to work out what 22% is, all I need to do is add 12, 12, 1.2, 1.2 together. So that's 24, 25, 26, point 
So that's 22% of 120. So I'm going to do the next two questions with less working out. So here I've got 45%. So I've got two options here. I could either find 50% of 64 and then take away 5%. Or I could work out 10%, 10%, 10% and then 5%. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 10%, 10% thing. So 10% of 64 is 6.4. So that's 10%. That's 20%. 30%. 40%. So if I've worked out what 10% is, which is 6.4, 5% must be half of 10%. And half of 6.4 is the same as 3.2. So if I add all these together, 6, 12, 18, 24, 27. So I'll just write that there for now until I've added the decimals. 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, which is 1.8. So 27 and 1.8 gives us 28.8. Hope you're still with me there. Let's take a look at the last one, which is 77% of 150. So I'm going to work out 50%. So 50% of 150 so half of 150 is 75. Then I'm going to work out 10%. So 10% of 150 is 15, because I've just divided it by 10. Another 10% is 15 also. So now I've got 50, 60, 70%. So I need 5%. So that's half of 10%. So 5% must be 7.5 so now i'm up to 75 percent and we need one percent and we need one percent so one percent of 150 is 1.5 because i divided it by 100 1.5 all i have to do now is add it up so 75 and 15 90 105 112.5, 114, 115.5. Thanks again for watching. If you would have worked out these questions in a different way, then please do comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you would have worked them out. Hopefully you have learned something from this. And um, thanks again for watching.